Hello, this is Gray Hughes again. Someone in the uh, last video that I put out named Debbie was very certain that it was a, the vehicle, the suspect vehicle is a 2018 Nissan Sentra S. So I went out and I looked that up and I found one. And then what we'll do here is we'll actually try to do a comparison here. I think she's right on the money. Okay, so we'll put that like that. Maybe I'll even make sure that the S is in there so you can see it. So there we go. And now we'll take a look at the the image of the suspected automobile, the four-door white sedan that was released, and we'll see if it matches. Now here's the thing. When, when they release it, it's distorted. See the front wheel there, how it's kind of going in a weird angle? That's because there's some uh, distortion in here, and it's making it look like the front windshield is steep and then goes back, kind of like a Dodge Charger, you know, a little bit like that. Or at least that's how my mind's remembering that. But you see how it goes up, but it's supposed to be a little bit smoother back. So let me show you what um, I'm going to do here. I did this earlier to see if I could get it to work, and it did seem to work. So I'm going to put it right here, and let's make it uh, smaller. Like that, so you can see most of it. Let me uh, we'll zoom in just so it's bigger on the screen. Maybe that's a little too big. All right, now I'm going to do transform and then skew here. And then what you do is you try to move it around until the wheel's straight, and or at least not bent like it is. And let's see what we got. Yeah, so probably more about like that. Okay, at that point, the wheel doesn't have that weird oblong shape to it. All right, so I'm going to leave it at that. And now I'm going to rotate it so that it's flat on the ground. Now it looks more reasonable now, given that, you know, the other one had that oblong shape of the wheel there. So I'm going to go like that. And then I'm going to transform it again. And then try to reduce it. Uh, let me see if I can get it where I can. Let's see. Maybe I'll hit distort. There we go. Now I can go down. And that's what it's supposed to look like. About like this. See, now the wheels are round. They're not vertical like that. They're not oval. And you go down. Now the wheels are round. Okay. And I think I still need to skew it a little bit more. There you go. Boom. Look at how that wheel's perfectly round and that one's round. It's rounder than, it, you know, maybe a better way to do it, maybe slightly like that. But probably about like that, okay? So then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take that image and then I'm going to try to remove everything but the car. Take the magnet tool, put it right along the car there, go up and around. And then down like this. And the magnet tool will put itself on a, a surface that it notices that's different than a um, adjacent uh, color. So let's see. Let's try to go around over to there. I'm going to keep the shadow in there. Right to there. And then up, around, and then boom. Like that. Let me see how... See if I'm missing. I am missing some stuff there. So now I'm going to go in here and I'm going to add in that area. And maybe right here looks like it's missing a little bit of that. Yeah, maybe right there. It looks pretty good though. So I think I've got the general shape of that. Now I'm going to select an inverse and then delete it and now we just have the car sitting there all right and now I'm going to scale that vehicle up scale put it right here actually let me select off of it transform rotate and then we'll have it right like 
that. Now, keep in mind, it's not a straight on shot from the side. It's actually a little bit away from the camera. That's why you can see the back of the car there and you can actually see through it too. So we're going to keep it about like that. Now let me zoom in. And maybe I'll try to make it a little bit smaller just to be exactly the same size. Print the screen here. Bring it into another program, which is this one. And now you can see in this one that those taillights are exactly the same. The shape of the windows is exactly the same. See the point right there? The rear view mirror is right in the right spot. This light down there, and it looks like these are the same. So I think, and there's a light back there. This is just a little bit further. You can actually see it right there. But this is, this right here, you can actually see the back of the car a little bit because it's passing the the camera. Okay, so I'm I would bet you that it is a 2018 Nissan Sentra S, unless there's other models of the same, you know, other Nissans that look very similar and they just barely change the car at all. Okay, so that is it. I think that uh, it looks like it is a Nissan Sentra, possibly the S, and possibly 2018. So there's a lot of people that were saying Nissan Sentra, like literally 10 people typed that in on the video. So we are going to go with that, okay? But this is the kind of stuff that I, I do on the side to try to prove things, and I think this does it right here. And uh, it's interesting that they, the, the image that they released was so skewed like that. All right, so thank you guys very much for watching, and we'll see you guys later this evening. And until next time, be safe out there.